Good morning, good morning, it's Roslyn Fache. Um, for you guys who don't know who I am, I'm an online marketer, and my goal here is to help as many entrepreneurs or new entrepreneurs create a sustainable income by sharing a couple of tips and tools with you guys. Um, there's a few, t few techniques in there, too. Um, what I wanted to share with you guys today is a lot of people are struggling with um, getting their business or getting their brand out there um, and using Facebook. I had a friend of mine ask me this question a few days ago, how um, or what should she put on her uh, Facebook page? So I thought this morning, let me go ahead and share a few tips of what not to put on your Facebook page. Um let me see, you have two pages, and one of them is your personal page that everybody has on Facebook, uh, on social media. You know, you have your, your just your regular page where you, you post your family, you post your friends, you post uh, quotes and whatnot, stuff that you like. You know, you put that on there. Uh, your your politically, political reviews, I told you it was early, political views on things that you like or you don't like about our president or the government or school system, whatever. So um, those are okay on your personal Facebook page. Uh, and I shared it with her. It's okay to put that on your, your, uh, your personal page. On your business page, you got to always remember that you're building your brand. And building your brand, what that means, whatever you stand for, whatever you are putting out there for the, the universe to um, to get a hold of. So if you are selling shoes, for example, you don't want to talk about government and politics and all that kind of stuff. You just want to stick directly to your shoes. You want to talk about the colors, how they feel, you know, who can wear them, so forth and so on. If you got a page about losing weight, you don't want to uh, show a whole bunch of pictures of um, your coworkers or your your family, a bunch of quotes. You know, you want to put out there things that are going to inspire, things that are going to help a person. Um, matter of fact, um, I had a friend who um, was, um, what well, is, doing uh, cake baking. And I had shared with her, I saw her Facebook, it was her personal page, and I shared with her, why don't you create a, a Facebook page and link it to your personal page. Put it just, It's a little thing that you can put usually on that side. And you can put your links in. And I shared with her, why don't you put your uh, creative page, first of all, um, a page about uh, what you're baking. Because she, I think she bakes um, cakes for weddings and, and birthday parties. You know those fancy cakes that everybody's doing now. But see, everybody's doing it. So I suggested to her, why don't you... Um, why don't you create a page? And I, I talked about her nickname that she grew up with. I said, so why don't you call it, um, I don't know if she's using it, so I'm not going to share it, but Cooking With Blank. And she was like, oh, I love that idea. I think that's great. I said, and then why don't you, because it's all about giving back. That's that's that little hook that a lot of people don't seem to know. It's, it's giving back, it's offering suggestions. I said, so why don't you... Uh, show people how to make those towers or how to make those little things that uh, may be a little difficult and then lead them into either uh, instructing people how to to make cakes or just let them know how great you are with the cakes but I told her why don't you put that on your Facebook page and then you lead from there, you know, you, you create all of these wonderful cakes and you show people about what you're going to do. So at the end of the day, what I'm trying to share with you guys today is that the difference between your Facebook page and your personal page. You don't put on your Facebook page the same stuff that you put on your personal page. On your personal page, just stick to... You know, um, your, your wonderful quotes, your 
family pictures, your travel, wherever you're going, whatever you're doing, on your business page, stick to the brand. Don't ever lose the brand and don't don't go over the brand. Keep the brand tight because that's what you're trying to build, a brand. And you don't ever want them to to cross, ever. So anyway, I hope this helps you guys and I hope you understand the difference between your Facebook page and your personal page. And also I want to say, don't put on their religion. Don't put on their, um, my goodness, now my mind is going to leave me, but don't do religion. Don't do politics, and don't put a bunch of graphic, nasty, gross, bloody, whatever stuff on your your uh, your page. On your personal page, I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even do that, especially a bunch of gross, nasty, crazy stuff. I would I I don't do it so, but anyway. Uh, some people do, you know, girl gone crazy, girl want to fight, big butts, uh, handsome guys, whatever you want to put on on your um, your personal page. Some of them, uh, because sometimes your your um, your your business page people will kind of ease their way over to your personal page. So you, therefore, you don't want to have a whole lot of graphic stuff because then. People may not want to do business with you because people are going to go find you. You know, you can Google Ross and Fache. You won't find a whole lot of uh, gross stuff out there because that's not my scene. You won't find a whole lot of cursing and all that kind of stuff. And you'll find some because uh, the tongue is something, but you... You won't find a whole bunch of stuff, if you know what I mean. It won't be a whole lot of gross, negative comments, because I'm all about love and peace and, and all that kind of stuff. Stuff pisses me off, things make me mad, but I don't think I need to put it on social media all the time. So try to keep those things um, separate, but then kind of always think about your brain. you got to always think about it, even though over here is is your page and your business page and it's who you are and what you're doing but you, this is also who you are too so um, keep them separate but don't keep uh, keep mixing them up and messing them up because you got a brand uh, I hope I didn't do a whole lot of rattling because I didn't really have my coffee yet and I don't know so anyway, I hope you guys uh, got the gist of what I was trying to tell you. Anyway, this is Rosin Fache, and you guys have a great day. Thanks a lot.